Hello from Korea! I very last minute booked an appointment at Suzuki Salon because I've seen it on social media. I know my roots are really grown out and I should touch it up, but I was thinking of doing ginger again. Not the ginger that I had six months ago, which was very bright, but more like a brownish ginger, which I think could look cute. I just know I need to get my hair done. I was waiting to do it in Korea, so I'm very excited though because I also want to do a color analysis and then get some skincare treatments done too. But yeah, we're heading to the salon now. having decision anxiety going into the appointment because I like the color of my hair currently but I also miss the ginger shade that I had before this and wanted something a little bit fresh and new so here's me frantically looking at inspo pics five minutes beforehand I always do this thing where I let my roots grow out an insane amount as you can see they are pretty bad and I look a little busted because I was only on four hours of sleep but I had the absolute best stylist. Big shout out to director Yoni Yoko, who also stayed overtime to help me finish out the coloring session. But they started me off with some treatments and essential oils to prep my scalp. And then we jumped into the bleaching session. My stylist also had hella cool tattoos, so she was giving me inspo out here. But because I had brownish hair, we settled on a slightly darker ginger. And I was excited to see how it would turn out because I actually wasn't sure what the exact color was, but I trusted them. And they gave me free unlimited drinks, snacks, and chargers throughout the appointment. You name it, they had it. So it was super chill and this is the final look just kidding <laughs> we did color after this and i was worried it wouldn't apply evenly because my roots were so yellow but this is how it turned out and i absolutely love it they gave me a very quick trim and layer and by then it was 7 30 pm and i was so hungry but yeah the session was absolutely amazing a little hair reveal it looks so good and i asked them to keep my money piece which is a lot more work but they did it for me it looks so pretty <laughs> good morning I'm doing a little hair reveal this morning okay first of all i had such a good experience at soon shiki if you guys go to korea you should definitely go check them out because i think they're a really well known and like famous salon chain in korea as well but i went for this dark color and i love it so much i try to keep the um money pieces that i already had for my last hairstyle and i think it still looks really good it's a lot more noticeable though because my base hair color is a lot darker but i love this so much anyways today i have an appointment at lian jang and i really wanted to get an appointment for a facial because a lot of my friends tell me to do it in korea because it's cheap and it's good quality and i got a recommendation for lian jang because my friend there my friend went there to get an aqua peel so that is what I'm doing today. I'm getting an aqua peel, which I still need to look into what exactly it is. I just looked up what an aqua peel is. An aqua peel is a procedure that removes dead skin cells and waste on the skin and provides rehydration and proper, proper nutrition to bring back your skin. So yeah, we're going to be doing that today. I don't know if they're going to let me film. I guess we'll see. Also, I need to change and get ready. If you've watched any of my other glow up videos, you also know that I like to experiment with my makeup whenever I get something changed, like my hair, just to match the new hairstyle. But I haven't gotten a chance to experiment with my makeup yet. Maybe I'll do that later into the week. But I just put my very basic makeup on. And I also want to get a color analysis done because I know that is very popular in Korea and a lot of people also recommend to do that in Korea. It's basically where they put all the different colors on you so that you can see how it matches your skin tone and your hair. So I wanna get that done so that I can know what my colors are and if I'm a summer, autumn, and all that. Anyways, I'm gonna get dressed and get ready for um, Lian Jing later this afternoon so that we can get our aqua peel. And I'll see you guys in a bit. So my friend recommended this place for the aqua peel and I went to their Myeongdong location which also has the best reviews but they were so big 
and they had so many random procedures and facials that I had never even heard of. But the first thing that they had me do was they put me at this face washing station and had me take off all my makeup so we could work with a clean slate. Whatever makeup remover they had in there was so good because my makeup came off so easily. And unfortunately, they didn't let me film the facial, but I snuck in this photo and this live photo. And then I screamed afterwards when I saw it because I look like an alien, but my skin looked so amazing afterwards. And this is a photo from that night. And as you can see, I was glowing. Good morning. I want to do my makeup and see if I could do it a little bit differently. Also, it's super early in the morning, so I am a little bit tired. Then I'm gonna take a little bit more and go under. So I don't know if I'm gonna have to take this off later because I have a color analysis scheduled. I booked this very last minute though because I was too busy to plan. I feel like I personally have a good sense of like what my colors are. Like I don't do pastels very well and honestly I don't think I do colors very well. So usually I'll do beige or monochromatic. I like wearing beige a lot. We'll see what they say. This is such a low energy makeup. <laughs> routine. Anyways, this is how I usually do my contour. I feel like it's pretty generic. Sometimes I'll bring the contour a little bit over my cheeks just to make it more slimming. But other than that, I tend not to contour my forehead. I don't know why I have a ginormous forehead, but I don't really contour it because I feel like it looks unnatural when I contour it. And this is the look. And not very different or unique compared to usual, but looks good with the hair. And I think I'm gonna get ready to go to the color analysis and I will see you guys there. I'm gonna be honest, it was actually really hard to get a last minute English speaking appointment for color analysis in Korea, but I found this place called Color View that was so, so kind and made room for me one of the mornings that I was there. And we started off with a quick intake form where I filled out my own personal color preferences and also answered some questions on what I liked. The first thing that they had me do was remove all my makeup so we could look at my base skin tone and all my features. Also RIP to all the time I spent that morning putting on makeup. So the brightness of your skin is around that fourth one, mm -hmm. not too fair and not too dark. Mm -hmm. Okay. So rather than having a very pinkish skin, your skin is tilted to a bit yellow. So that's the color of your eye, which is like mm -hmm. brownish, reddish, brownish. Yeah. It's not red, uh, but tilted to a bit yellow. Mm -hmm. So just seeing your skin color and eye color, your like base skin tone is tilted to the yellowish. Yeah. This is full pink. This is warm pink. Uh, can, you, can you tell? Uh, yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Which one do you think? Um, I personally like the warm one. Warm yeah, yeah it is true. Yeah. yeah. Can you talk about you so when you have the cool yellow on, you do get fair, but also it gives it a pale feeling. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I right. use a warmer color. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> So when you look at your chin, yeah. oh, when you have the cool tone on, it gives you like it it gets darker as if you have a mustache on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> The rest of the session was super cool because I got to compare different colors against my face to really clearly see what complemented my features or washed me out. And I didn't think it would be so life-changing, not to be dramatic, but I've never looked at so many different colors against my skin tone all at once. And when you're in that chair and looking into the mirror, you really do see a difference, especially when they show you different shades of the same color. It was actually really helpful. The final part was a debrief and detailed overview of different color results. I ended up with this very comprehensive guide and reference card that we built on which colors, tones, and finishes suited me the most. And going into this, I had the sense of what I personally thought looked good on me, and it was just very validating and mind-blowing to learn the science behind it and also confirm my own personal preferences. They also gave me some makeup recs, and we tried a ton of different lipsticks to see what colors looked best on me. They do other things like body analysis and haircut analysis. I wish I had gotten those done because this was a very, very helpful session, but all in all, I think it was really worth it. So if you're in Korea, I highly recommend getting this done. Hello. 
I just finished my color analysis and I'm just walking around Korea right now. But I just got my color analysis done and apparently I'm, I'm, I'm in autumn deep. Warmer orangish colors work better on me. So my hair color, thankfully, is the right color for me. But yeah, I got my analysis done at Color of You in Hongdae and they were so lovely and they accommodated me last minute because I didn't realize that these types of things book up so quickly in Korea. So she got me a translator and everything too. I recommend them if you guys are in this area. Anyways, I'm gonna go home and throw away all my pastel clothes because apparently pastel doesn't work for my skin tone. Also, banana milk is so good. They have it at like every convenience store in Korea. You know what I love? The sign and like the cleanliness of the roads. Wow, everyone's just taking photos here, huh? Is this the Brooklyn of Seoul? Oh, these coffee shops are kind of cute. Oh my god, why is everyone so aesthetic? So pretty. This is so pretty. <laughs> That's so Description. Good. It tastes like eating a mildly sweet fluff ball, all of like cloud, you know, and then the fig is like very mildly sweet. Oh, that's so good. This was $9. The last thing I wanted to do in Korea was get my ID photos taken and especially in Korea there's so many photo booths everywhere so it's really easy to get them anywhere you are exhibit A, B, C for my last video oh, That was so scary <laughs> I actually wasn't planning on doing ID pics but we passed by a photo booth while we were in Songsu one day so I shamelessly went in for some portraits the one thing I love about Korean photo booths is most of the pics come with a QR code that lets you download both the picture and either a live photo or a cute little video from the session. And then James and I also did a cute little session together. But yeah, I also wanted to do so many other things like get my nails done in Korea, but we just didn't have time. Anyways, I hope y'all had a fun time joining me on this little glow up session today. And I hope to see you in the next Korea vlog because that one is the one I'm most excited about. So yeah, hopefully I will see you guys soon. Bye!